add exciters to your backings so that your backings can really really like sound professional and at the same time create more space and more room for other uh, vocals so this is going to help the eq that i had put in group number two uh, the, ex the exciter from waves is going to help uh fab Fura eq since i have not done a lot of uh, eq when i told you from the beginning that I left, I left this space for a purpose. So this space is gonna be used for uh, my exciter. So just go to others, other, and then pick up Affix Vintage Exciter Stereo. This is the one. This is just gonna transform these backings and their entire song into something professional so i love to go to this preset come to uh if the backings are female come to female uh backings smooth female backing so just click on that one then what i'm gonna do is just to um reduce a little bit and do a little bit uh, of uh a touch according to how i want the backings to sound like so this is before and this is now so i'm going to bring down the input to negative 18 i don't need this one 18.0 then i'm gonna try to uh increase this just a little bit and also come to the noise i want noise to be part of uh you know to be part of my backings so they can sound better so here we go all the way to original all the way to original if you want to have that good excitement to your vocals it's vintage so it's just gonna make your vocals sound great and then next, I'm gonna be working with this guy, increase or reduce it. They sound nice on 5.98. Let me just take it all the way to 6.0. So this is before And that is after make sure this side on the mod it's on the mix one don't take it to mix two mix two doesn't sound nice unless if you want to work on the low mids if the low mids are not working out properly and you just want to raise them up but if you want good excitement just bring it to mix one this is really really good and then once you've put it there come to um ax mix and then just take it up and then our mains which is analog just take it to original then the mains has to be 60 hertz that is really really gonna work for you then if your vocals are a little bit like in the background they don't have punch a punch of volume to to them just increase the input as for me i love to put it on zero negative 18.0 
Sale Tayanda, who could bomb men and fum. When would him a want to say get it out? We are so, guys, that's how you add a vintage um exciter to your vocals. And next, I'm gonna try to add one more plugin and try to go back to the uh balancing and see what I can touch from there. Right now, what I'm gonna do is um add a little bit of auto tune just to smoothen up the backings a little bit remember this is gonna be a radio song so anything to make it uh, sound better is necessary at the moment so what I'm gonna do is just um, bring up auto tune 5 and then just copy the same settings which I did in the previous same key some uh, scale some things so i'm gonna take it up remember this is auto tune it has to be on top then followed by eq if you're doing it in the groups so what i'm gonna do is just to reduce it a little bit uh 15 is okay just a little bit of auto tune on the on the backings like this <laughs> then just to bring them up even more uh don't forget to save i'm gonna go to edit channel settings and use the inbuilt eq and try to raise it up a little bit <laughs> So around 10k, 10 k 10,000 k area is very good uh, for now. So what I'm gonna do is just take it out and um, do that and take a listen to it. They sound airy, they sound uh, separated, they, they sound... Mm -hmm. 